Hey, hey guys, I'm John P. I'm Callie Lewis. And we have a whole plethora of boxes from Interlogix. It's our new IP camera system. Yay, welcome to Geepy. Um, John, before, before we get started, because this is gonna be a while. <laughs> You have something on your nose. I do? Yeah. Is it black? Yes. That's because I've been like uh, drilling on boxes, uh, drilling on doorways and stuff. Is it still there? Yeah. It's gonna be there. So, so this is what happens working on our when you're actually doing work. You've been working on our security system, That's right. our badge access That's right. system. And this is all tied together because we just got, as you were doing that, all these boxes from Pacey Electric and electrical. And our friends over at Interlogix. Yes. Uh, you would think that considering that I am still messy from working over there, that I would see these and be like, I don't want to do any more work. Right. But, but that's not what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is- it. Where's my knife? Let's open Curly. some boxes. What? My knife. See, in unlike you, I am older. always prepared with my knife. Um, I don't know where you want me to put a knife in my current outfit. Okay, well, let's just start <laughs> by <laughs> opening boxes. Girl. Makeup and uh, clothes. <laughs> and clothes. What do we have? Oh my God, this is going to take a while. Catch. Yeah, flying <laughs> knives. Okay. First of all, you guys remember, we're doing a lot of things here at the Geek House. We are, we are, we have badge access control systems right. so that all of our doors, uh, so we can- So that I can have access to everyone's door and John only has access to his own room. Right. And we also have a security system and all kinds of things. This is our IP camera system. This is gonna be going all inside and outside of the bu building. This is the True Vision 1.3 megapixel and three megapixel outdoor camera. Oh, so that's one of the outdoor this is ones. Outdoor. A bullet camera. Yeah. So, so we have a go. variety of Whoa. different types of cameras that we'll use in different instances. Oh, here's a dome camera. Yeah, this is an indoor IP mini dome camera. So this one, this is one you would just put somewhere and fix it in a fixed location, okay? Uh, this is another outdoor bullet camera. What oh, do you get there? This is a different kind of dome. Uh, out, like this an is an outdoor dome. wedge compact IR. So this one we'll see in the dark because it'll do infrared uh, stuff. Dual stream IP camera. I don't even know what that means. Dual stream, it can stream IR to two illumination. systems? Wow. Mm -hmm. Outdoor vandal resistant. Oh, it's 1080p real time resolution. That's good. We want full on 1080p. I guess a mount of some that sort? That is a mount. That is a wall mount. So this is how you could put like one of these dome cameras. For example, this goes on the wall. You hang a dome camera right underneath here, okay? So I'm going to assume this is another mount. Same mounts, yeah. Because it says True Vision Dome Swan Neck Bracket. Nice. So these are gonna be, we'll be able to put these on the co top corner on the outside of the building, just hanging down with the cameras. Awesome. I am scared of you with your knife. You're not even getting in the groove. I can, it's open, see? Oh yeah, okay. Dude. Uh-huh, let me just get the big one here. Uh -huh. And uh, Let's see what we got in here. Oh, these are more parts. Actually, oh, these the are more parts for our access, access control system, system. Because we were missing a couple, I think, or we made some changes or something. That's true. Hey, oh, there's, that? a, there's a 24 port fast ethernet POE switch in here. Power over ethernet. Oh, you know what that's for? That's for the cameras because the camera right. system that we have actually runs with power over ethernet. That means we only need to take one ethernet cable to each of these cam uh, cameras and they will both send the feedback through the network and draw power from this one switch, which that switch can reside in the data center. So that's and pretty cool. Here's an interface module. A, a door module. Yeah, I think for we were, doors. that's yeah, for, for some that extra doors, stuff, yeah. for some extra controls for the doors. And let's see what this is. I'm dying to see with this because this is ginormous. It's different. It's big. Okay. It's different than all the boxes, other boxes. That's right. See, different is not bad. <laughs> what Let's is see. This? I, I'm, well, just hold your horses now. I'm impatient. I know. You're already pulling out stuff from the other box there. <laughs> I have a feeling this is a big, ginormous uh, camera. Oh, wow. I did. Yeah. Wow. That is a big one. Oh, yeah. <gasps> nice. 
Yeah. And this will, so this will be outdoor, obviously. Right. This, my friends, is, I am fairly certain, a full-on PTZ camera. That nice. is pan, tilt, zoom. zoom. You see this piece, it can actually, if you, uh, that's the lens, and it can go up and down. Swivel side throughout. to side. So nice. that thing mounts up in the can. That is quite a bit of wiring. Uh, I don't want the responsibility for doing that. <laughs> they will tell me I fixed it. There are more uh, of the dome cameras in this box. There we go. What do we have in those other boxes? Let us see. This one is also an unusual box, not like the others. Ah, uh, that is because, you know what this is? Clearly, this is the arm for mounting that camera we just looked at. Oh, yeah. Woo! There you go. It's funny, it has a pull chain. What's that for? <laughs> but that will mount to the wall. That I mean, heavy duty. Look it at is that. a steel, like heavy duty arm. So and look over here. we'll have to figure that out. I have the network video recorder. So this is what, wow, is the whole box. It's huge. Uh, this is what will control and uh, it's basically a DVR essentially here. for all the cameras. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Yeah, this will let us actually see everything and switch back and forth between the cameras okay, and record one. everything. Yeah. Look, it says it supports up to 8 slash 16 slash 32 cameras at 1.3 megapixels real time. Supports IP cameras up to 5 megapixels, up to 16 terabytes of storage. Wow. So, so wait, eight, sixteen, or thirty-two? Yeah. Oh, here, I bet, but I assume if you have nine, 16, you can do maybe nine. Maybe double up or something. Yeah. Oh, you can do, you know, fewer. Any number. You can do fewer, but I think maybe it's depending on the configuration or whatever, you know. Probably. And uh, what's also interesting, as I understand it from this unit, is not only can you fill it with hard drives and go up to sixteen terabytes, but let's say someone were to happen to have like a 45 drives machine. Mm, I don't know who has that. And it was loaded up with other storage. You can map a virtual drive onto this and just keep filling that thing up. So nice. you don't even have to do all your storage in here. You can store it on the uh, on the network. Cool. You're still getting stuff out over there? Yeah, I think I have actually another one of those big PTC cameras. Really? I think so. Oh yeah, two of those. Outside. <laughs> There's just another box in here. It probably would have been easier to do go. these things if we had done them together. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not paying any attention to you. <laughs> Don't drop it. Yeah, this is another one of those that we already uh, looked at. All right, well, I'm just dying. We, we've unboxed everything, but now I just want to see what this network recorder looks like. Uh, it is rack mountable as well. Allegedly. All right, there we go. Nice. Okay. Looks good. Two fans back here. On the All side. right. On the back here, we've got uh, VGA and HDMI outputs. We've got USB, USB dual Ethernet. That's good. Um, and then I I don't know what all these are well, for. Well, you are well. I mean, because we have the control panels and then all those Frankly, wires. we're not even going to act know. like we know because we don't know. But we'll find out. Video output, audio, I guess line input and audio output or something maybe. RS-232 control. eSATA, that's if you wanted to connect extra hard drives on the outside. Let's see the front. Externally, uh, the front has many buttons and dials. So we don't really know what all this does or how it works yet, but I'll tell you one thing. We're just excited to learn. When we, uh, oh my gosh, what is this? Press? Uh-oh. Press? <laughs> oh, it's locked right now. This thing opens, I can tell there's a hinge. We will play with this, we'll figure out how it works, and then we're gonna come back to you guys and show you how to hook up one of these Interlogix IP yeah. camera systems. We still have a cool. whole lot more content coming at you yeah. about these badge access and the, the IP camera systems and all of that because it's all brand new to us as well. Yeah. Exciting stuff.
All right, I guess I'm gonna go uh, wash the black stuff off my face Actually, now. Actually, you have more to do, so don't worry. Uh, don't, don't bother. Bye, guys. Bye.